Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to share how you can get started day trading stocks even if you are a complete beginner from the UK. I'm going to go through some basics with you clarifying some trading lingo including stocks, CFDs, indices and also answer some common frequently asked questions. After that I'm going to show you how you can get started day trading stocks for free. But first, I just want to say a quick thank you to Fineco who are sponsoring this video today. Fineco Bank was named one of the best banks in 2022 by Forbes. I'll share some more information about Fineco Bank and how they can help you with your trading journey later on in this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily and I started Mind for the Trading around about four years ago to share my journey as I grow and develop as a trader. I originally started day trading the American stock market, but since then I've gravitated towards trading the foreign exchange market, also known as Forex. I have used a variety of different trading tools and software. Some have been really useful, others have been a waste of cash. And that's what I like to share on Mind Play Trading. I like to share some useful tools and tips I've picked up along the way to help you with your own trading journey and to help navigate the choppy waters of trading and investing with some honest, transparent tips. If you like the sound of that, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel below. So let's clarify some common trading terms before we dive into the main part of this video today. Firstly, according to Investopedia, Trading is the buying and selling of securities such as stocks, bonds, commodities and currencies opposed to investing which is more of a buy and hold strategy. But what are stocks? Well stocks represent ownership claims on companies and you can buy and sell these at Stocks represent ownership claims on businesses and these can be exchanged, brought, sold and traded on the stock market. There are many different stock markets across the world, including the most common ones that a lot of people have heard of, the London Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. An index or indices are a group of financial securities that represent and measure the performance of a specific market, such as the FTSE 100, which is a collection of 100 of the top performing stocks on the London Exchange market, and the S&P 500, which is 500 of the top US stocks. 500 large companies that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So what exactly happens when you choose to buy a stock? Well, usually when you invest, let's say for example, that you buy 10 shares of the Amazon stock. You must be really rich, by the way. <laughs> that would basically mean that you are purchasing 10 shares of that company. You are claiming ownership of that portion of shares of the company of Amazon. And you can then choose to sell those 10 shares at a later date. Well, CFDs work very differently compared with investing. With investing, you're taking ownership of the company. Whereas with CFDs, you don't actually take ownership. CFDs stand for contract for difference, and they are more of a speculative way to be able to trade the market in opposed to investing where you can buy and actually own a part of a, an asset. A CFD is a type of derivative pro product where you can use it to speculate on the future direction of a market's price. So you don't actually own the underlying asset, you are just speculating on the direction that asset might take, whether it's going to go up or whether it's going to go down. So how can we actually day trade stocks in the UK? Well, fortunately, gone are the days where we have to physically go to a stock exchange. We have to live near them, visit them and choose whether we are buying or whether we are selling. Today, we have the luxury of being able to do this from the comfort of our own home using the internet by signing up with a broker. A broker is a company that basically links us to the stock exchange, gives us the ability to choose from a range of assets and the ability to actually carry out some transactions. So a broker arranges the transaction between a buyer and a seller and more often than not, they take a commission of that transaction. That's how they usually make their own profit. As you can imagine, there are many different brokers out there available for both trading and investing and some are better than others. If you're not sure which broker to go with when you're starting out, then Fineco Bank is definitely a broker worth considering and it's why I'm going to talk about them a little bit more in this video. So what sets Fineco Bank apart is that they are both a bank and a broker. They offer three main services within their platform. 
you can trade, you can invest and you can bank. If you're in the UK, you can deposit money with them in their stocks and shares ISA if you'd like to invest in that way. And you can also deposit money with them if you would like to explore the option of trading using CFDs. Finico have a fair pricing structure, so they don't actually have any fees for depositing money with them. You don't get charged any inactivity fees, which many brokers do ordinarily do. And there aren't any charges for portfolio transfers, so if you already have a portfolio, you could look into transferring that with Finico, and you won't actually get charged for that. They do have a fixed cost when it comes to a commission per trade. So you can see here, if you want to actually uh, purchase UK shares, it's a fixed cost of £2.95 per trade. So that's for both buying and for selling. But it is a flat fee and that is mainly for investment purposes. However, as you can see here, there's another option for share CFDs. So if you want to actually trade CFDs, there is no commission cost for that. The way that Fineco profits from that transaction as I mentioned earlier, is that they just take their own cut, but it's from the spread. So that's the difference between the buy and the sell price. But Fineco don't actually apply any additional spread to that. Another super important box that Fineco take is to do with regulation. So when you choose a broker, it's really important to see that they are regulated. This is where they are actually monitored and regulated by a recognized financial authority. Naturally, you wouldn't want to deposit your money with a broker and then see that money disappear and be left with nothing. Finico are authorised and regulated by the Bank of Italy, but they're also subject to regulation by the Financial Conduct Authority, which is the governing body here in the UK. So you can rest assured that your money is going to be safe with Finico. So having a look here at CFDs, and Finico offer CFDs for a range of markets. So you have stocks, you have indices, commodities and also Forex, which is open 24 hours a day, Monday to Friday. They offer UK, US and EU stocks. So there's quite a range available to trade with there. And they also offer leverage of 30 to 1. So this is where for CFDs, you're able to actually borrow money from Fineco in terms of buying power so that you can buy more assets or take a larger position if you are looking to day trade. Super important to be aware of risk though before you go into those realms because CFDs can be incredibly risky. You need to be able to manage your account effectively. I have created separate videos that talk about managing risk, so I'll include a link to that above. But if you want to get started with Fineco, it's really easy. You just click on open account here. The process takes around about 10 minutes to complete because you have to submit some personal information. You have to upload two forms of ID as well, as well as your national insurance number. You also have to sign some terms because Fineco are very thorough and they really take it seriously and professionally when it comes to all the legalities with opening an account, which can seem a little bit intense at first, but at the end of the day, it inspires trust. You want to be banking with somebody who is professional and thorough. If you do feel like you want a more personalized introduction to the account before you sign up or you want some more help, more one-on-one -on -one help, they actually offer the ability for an interactive demo session. So you, underneath About Us, you can click Book a Demo and it's completely free. It allows you to choose a date and time that suits you once you've entered in your basic details here. And with that, you get access to around about a 40 minute session where you can see somebody guide you through the process and you can also ask them questions as well. But if you want to see a very quick version of this, then keep watching because I'm going to sign into my account with Fineco and just give you a very brief tour of their platform now. Okay, so I've just logged into my account here with Fineco. This is the homepage once you've logged in. So there's quite a few options available and I'll just give you a very brief overview now. Along the top, you can see we've got portfolio. So if you have transferred your portfolio to Fineco, that's where you can access and look at that. There's the trading option, you can look at different markets, and there's the investing option and there's the banking option. And the thing with the banking that is really awesome as well is that you can actually get a debit card with Fineco. So if you deposit your money with them, you can apply for a debit card and you can then use that in the UK, but also you can use it in Europe. So it's brilliant if you do travel around quite a lot, it means you can access and withdraw your cash on the go. And it's also very helpful when it comes to exchanging your currency as well. Okay, so I've just clicked on trading here and this just brings up a very generic list of the most popular securities. These are bringing up some top shares. So we can see Rolls-Royce, Loads Banking, Tesla, Apple, and so on. 
We can do the same for futures. So if you do like to trade futures, it does have that available as well. Personally, I've not traded futures. It's just not a market I've explored yet. We also have some ETFs and some of the top bonds as well. You can also use this panel on the left hand side to be able to navigate and find some different assets for trading. So underneath shares, we've got a wide range of trades here from different shares available across Europe and also the US. And you can also see different CFDs available for trading. So let's have a little look at some UK share CFDs. So I'm going to just click on Barclays, which are a bank here in the UK, if you've not heard of Barclays. And when you click on the company, you get a lot of information. So firstly, you get a chart here. You can change this, I like it in candles, and you can see some more data as well. So if I click on the monthly view, you can see a month's worth of one hour candles. So that's quite obvious that Barclays has been trending up. On the right hand side here, you've got a lot more information about the company. And if you scroll down, you've also got access to news and various features here. Now, if you want to place a trade, you can simply click on that blue button that says trade and that opens up the trading panel where you can enter in your details ready to take a trade, whether you want to buy or sell, whether you are looking to hold overnight, the amount of shares that you'd like to buy and also whether you want a market order. So that's where it's triggered at the market price or a limit order. So if you want to buy, but you use a limit order, you can actually enter in a price that's underneath the current market price. So you are essentially waiting for the price to drop down to trigger in your entry to buy. So you can buy at a lower price. So it's a pretty straightforward, easy to use platform when it comes to entering into a trade. But Fineco also offer an alternative platform called PowerDesk. Do you want to see what PowerDesk look like? So PowerDesk is an alternative chart trading platform. They have live prices and they are basically, it's a different type of platform that you can use if you want to actively day trade. It might be better suited for you. It's much more quicker and you can see what's going on a little bit easier. This platform reminds me of the kind of platform that I used to use when I day traded American stocks a few years ago. But essentially you've got a lot of features in one place here instead of having to click on multiple pages back on their website so you can find this the market that you want to monitor you have ability to monitor news you can look at your p l and you've also got your portfolio section down here as well if you want some more information about Fineco, if you'd like to have a go for yourself if you want to sign up i have got a link below in the description so make sure you check that out meanwhile if you've enjoyed this video please let me know by hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and i'll catch you in my next video thanks for watching bye